Hey guys, welcome to Vindictus. I'm Brandis X, and uh, this time I'm gonna actually go through a small tutorial on how to play Herc. I'll be using Shining Shakar as the boss that I'm fighting against. Um, a few of you have actually messaged me or left a comment uh, asking how I parry like crazy. Um, this video will show you how to do it. Uh, Herc has three ways he can deflect um, in terms of parrying or like blocking an attack. You can block pretty much ev any kind of attack you want. Um, it just requires timing or a certain type of uh, deflection. The first kind of deflection that you can get is just the one where you just press right click at the right moment. So generally that one's really hard to pull off, but it costs like nothing. Like that. But it, it, it also like, as you can see, it's not very accurate. So like that one's really hard to pull, pull off, but if you do that, you can actually like block like that, so it's actually not too bad. Um, the second one is the one where you charge an attack and then you block right after, but that one costs you 100 SP just to pull that off. So that one's actually quite expensive, and following up is like 3 onslaughts if you have it at rank A. So I have a rank, I have a rank A uh, onslaught here, and it exposes the enemy's weakness up to 3 times. And cost 50 SP per hit. So after, if you do the math, it's 250 SP just for a full combo after a block with that, with a charge. <coughs> so that's like one bar of SP. It's very expensive. So I'll just build up some SP here and I'll show you. So this is the second way to block an attack is to charge at it, like this. So there goes a whole bar of SP. As you can see, like my SP bar here. Now there's a third way to block an attack as well. This one is the easiest one to do, because you actually just stand there and wait and time it right. And just watch the guy come. And that's with the ultimatum skill. So you can just like sit here like this, and just wait. And it will always block if you let go at the right time. So you hold on to like this the key, the Z key for ultimatum. Look at this. Boom! And that's how it works. As well, uh, ultimatum during the swing you gain some invulnerability frames. So you're invincible during the swing as well. But not when you're just standing there. When you're standing there, you're, you're susceptible to full damage. So the easiest one is ultimatum. Of course it costs the most SP, it was like 250 just to activate it and then like whatever uh, onslaught you're coming in after. So that would be that would be 400 SP. The deflection off ultimatum doesn't cost anything because you already spent 250 just to activate it on whatever you hit. Um, the next thing you want to do is uh, like you can practice the one with the right click. That one costs nothing. But the follow-up combo isn't as good. You see, if you practice it enough, you can just actually just keep doing it over and over, and it costs nothing. And then uh, every boss has like the only thing you can't block is probably is projectiles. Like you can't block bosses that shoot projectiles. Like you can't deflect it. It's just you just can't do it because uh, you're more of a guy that charges in. So a tip about the. So the first way is just right pressing right click at the right time. You just stand there and wait and just right click. Oh shit. That didn't work out very well. Oh, see it's like the time frame and the window of opportunity is very small when you do it just the right click way. But it is so sweet when you pull it off though. <laughs> so this is the first way. I'll just do it a few times. Misses. Hate it when it misses. Oh god, that just did not work. And you end up stomping the floor instead. <laughs> the second way is the way I like to do it, is to actually charge. Oh my god. That one's a little dangerous too, because you have to run right into an attack. If you charge away from the enemy, it will do nothing. You you'll take a hit full on. You have to charge at them, not not away from them. So that's how Herc actually works. <coughs> I just 
build up some SP here. Here, I'll give you a little slow motion in the next one for that. Also know that after every deflection, uh, your judgment uh, spell also goes to cooldown rather than count down from 30 seconds. So that's how you can also spam that. So as you can tell, when you charge at something, you see that blue spark that comes out of my guy. That means you successfully blocked an attack, and you'll get the revenge buff. Oh god, bad timing. So you can press space for the uh, energy. Or you can hold the direction and then press uh, your dodge key and you'll get a charge, charge energy, charge energy. <laughs> like, if you, the best time is to actually do a charge energy, but that's a little, it's a little awkward to do. But it works, like that. <coughs> so once you have everything down, um, you can literally, like, just, like devastate a boss, really. You just non-stop attack. So I'm just gonna kill Shakar here now. With like everything. <coughs> Alright, here we go. I'm just non-stop attack now. Oh, missed. Also, if you can get an Awakening 5 combo and do an Execution, it hurts way more than a Terminus <coughs> Execution is like the Cloud Braver Strike. If you do it with an Onslaught, it's ridiculously strong. I'll show you in a mo- oh, I killed him already. <coughs> but if you have like 3 bars of SP for instance, uh, if you get a deflection after, like, say, doing the, uh, charge that I showed, uh, you can do a execution right after it, and it'll hit really damn hard because it'll also, uh, make a onslaught go off. So it's 50% more damage on top of that huge heavy hit. So, that'll cost you 550 SP though, so you need at least, like, half a bar. Or two bars and a little bit more. As well as the hundred to deflect off, off the charge. <coughs> so that's hurt guys, I hope this helped you out. If you're having troubles, uh, I would suggest always running practice mode with the boss before actually doing it, otherwise you're just gonna die and restart. Practice mode lets you respawn as much as you like, and then once you once you're once you're familiar with a boss's attacks and which ones you can uh, charge right into and which ones you can't. Mostly you can charge all melee attacks, but you cannot charge um, projectiles. Well, you can charge them, but then you can't deflect them. Like, you can charge them in a block. There's only a few projectiles that you can't charge, like uh, Kolru's uh, Meteor Storm, and a few other things. So, Because that one is supposed to like wipe, wipe you. Like certain skills that you're supposed to hide behind an environment object to block it, yeah, you can't you can't charge those. Like Havans, like uh, sandstorm kind of thing. That one just stuns you and blows you away, and you're dead. <laughs> so I hope this helped you guys. Until then, I'll see you on the next videos. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye for now. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you want, I'll, I can make a more extensive guide for you. But this is the gist of Herc. Um, it's his main gameplay, and there's, it's kind of like, you just have to time these charges. So, in terms of leveling your skills, I would suggest you level impenetrable to max at first, because you need to take, you need to take a hit in order for it to, uh, go on for deflection. And, uh, after you max impenetrable, uh, that's because you take a hit, and you want to reduce as much damage as possible, so that reduces damage. And then you want to max deflection, charge, and energy. Because these are, these are basically your survival skills. 
and judgment to the max would be good too because it gives you invulnerability for 0.77 seconds per swing there's like a small time time gap in between each swing where you're actually vulnerable but it doesn't happen very often like unless a boss is hugging you like Thor's electric walk that's just retarded <laughs> so like this attack one two it's like at the beginning of each swing is when you're open but during the swing you're you're invulnerable which is good for like dodging like un unblockables or like Keegan's instant kill for instance or like a lightning strike from Siglint <coughs> and then you want to max uh, revenge as much as you can uh, what I went for was uh, decimate and execute but I found out that I used execute a lot execute max that out at first and then crescent and full moon and onslaught is what you'll be using the most uh, later on and the rest is just up to you uh, crescent and onslaught is basically like like this is the execute crescent combo uh, you run, you stab, <laughs> but uh, you can go straight into a crescent full moon by run. Oh no, that's a vortex. So run, stab, and then boom. And just keep going like that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So that's uh, that's his, that's that's my main attack combo. I mean, you guys can be doing something else like I don't know, spin. The spin grants the most SP gain. If, in case you didn't know, this is like the most SP gain you'll get from any attack that Herc has. So the stab, and then uh, your energy or your dodge key, no direction. And then right click, right click for, for two spin, for two uh, crescents, or crescent full moon combo. Alright, so I hope this helped. If it didn't, well I'm sorry, I tried. Uh, and uh, yeah, so bye bye for now again. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys' support. Until then, see you later.